You want to play song seven now? Or don't you? Yeah. yeah, I like song seven. We're going to play song Sweet seven now. Me. That means I have to find where I put the mic stand. Oh, and we need the book. We need that book. We need the mic stand. We can't find any of it. Uh, okay, fuck song seven. Got no, we got the book. Got ah! The book. It's a, one of those bouncing Betty nut smasher mic stands. This is another. Eric, will you, Eric number two, will you find me a suitable page? No, it's not right. Montpelier, Vermont, sir. Montpelier, Vermont. Pick a number. Pick a number. Let's have someone in the crowd pick a number. Preferably an integer, preferably a non negative integer. A number, a whole number. I'm sorry, sir. Texas does have five letters in it. Oh, man. There's a lot of fine print in this thing. I think I'm going to have to take my protective lenses off. Um, um, okay. Command the mighty beings from the invisible world. There's no constant coincidence with the earth and the solar system. We just happen to be lined up in the present configuration as this particular galactic crossroads. There just happens to be now. So all these events were all set in place one day, 65 million years ago. The fable mutatus. It was decreed then by the Eddie's world that on July 5th, 1898, at 7 a.m., the true descendants, the chosen ones, the high bound predictables of the subgenius church under the last bob would be rewarded in that great rupture. <laughs> Computers, the dream, plot, least, and the anti sex things, 12, even to the night, trying to analyze and sort out all contradictory clues. They know, they know that somewhere out there, maybe in the alley next door, there lies a new red sub genius who got away, and as long as the sub genius gene lives, they are in danger. For there was a legend, a legend that someday there would come a man with a pipe, one who could outsell the conspiracy. That man came, and he's got some new clients now, they'll be arriving soon to inspect the property. Thank you. I've got so much slack now, I can't see. You've all been programmed. But that's okay. We are interplanetary Martian types. Are you still doing the tuning song? They'll have me knickers off me yet, by golly, Paul number one. Aha, luckily my drummer is playing interference noise on the cymbal. I cannot hear your query. But all the same, even though we do seem like we are Britnik space Martians from heck, I must remind you that we are loyal Wisconsinites through and through. Therefore, it is on behalf of the Wisconsin Dairy Administration Board that I ask you, sir, do you, do you, do you, do you, do you, do you want a grilled cheese?
Pumpkin pie, we're not time to EMI. Apple Beach just brought the source. Wipe your butt, it smells like forest. Mm-hmm. Don't run my day, you can't ever hear one. Stop breaking windows, what telephones? What songs I write? What movie show? Don't classify me. Sexual space martian from outer space, and I didn't put the goddamn train whistle in my goddamn fishnet stockings. Pull it out and say, Oh, is that a goddamn train whistle in your goddamn fishnet stockings? Are you just happy to see me? We're all the same, pal. Don't ever try to put me down. Well, kinda. Thank you. That was Harry Zillow's cover. That song and the song preceding it, coupled together, are on a 7 inch 45, which you cannot buy right now because I am out of them again. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha, we're creating a false demand. Ladies and gentlemen on the drums, Paul number two, otherwise known as the anti-social masturbator. On the perpetually detuning guitar, Paul number one. What, Delaware? Come again? Chips is my favorite TV show. Sir, you're thinking of the wrong band. You're also thinking of the wrong era of the band. That's okay. You know, actually, if we were going to do a song from Chips, we'd do I Dig Pain by Pain. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's 2.45, I don't know where I am. I got drunk playing Mexican. I don't remember the rest. I feel I would be, you know, I'd be blaspheming my drugs and masturbation code if I were to sing those old songs about drinking. Therefore, Colorado. Boulder, Colorado, sir. Boulder, Colorado. More community land, isn't it? I've been backed up by the antisocial masturbator. In any event, we no longer... What don't we do? I can't remember. I can't remember what the official witty tie-in is, but uh, I'm glad that there is a substitute bathroom to replace the one that was trashed by idiots because I like bathrooms because I like to poop a lot, and that bathroom had toilet paper in it, and that's good, but sometimes even a little bit of toilet paper, such as was in evidence in that bathroom, is a little too much, and when I become part of the constipation nation, I go to my local pharmacist, and I say, sir, don't give me any phenomint, don't give me any of that other kind of rectal suppository stuff. All the same, give me, give me grape juice! Give me, 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 give me,
change our clothes, play a second set consisting of 16 songs, and then go home. Please stick around and drink heavily. As we said, that is the end of the first set.